Thailand's natural beauty and luxury resorts draw visitors from all over the world and from all walks of life. At least it did before COVID-19. Its hotels and beaches now sit empty. The global shutdown has exposed the country's huge economic reliance on the travel industry, one that will never be the same after the pandemic. And wooing back foreign tourists is not going to be easy, but the government has a plan. It's growing the marketing message beyond amazing Thailand. It's now focused on driving home the idea that the country is one of the safest and cleanest places to visit and launched a health and safety certification program for travel companies. What tourists want to know now, yes, how beautiful the destination is, but also, is it safe to go there? I think safety would be the main concern, and if we can give them confidence and have a good standard, it won't be hard to win back the tourists. The certification program covers a wide range of cleaning procedures and regulations on how to protect staff and the public. The Thai hotel group Anantara has already received certification for one of its Bangkok properties. At its beach resort in Hua Hin, they see the certificate as an important credential to have, but it's what happens after that's critical. The execution of the standards is key. Um, in terms of the manuals and the process and the standards, that's all very well, but it's the day-to-day -day interaction and delivery from the people that will make the difference. Despite having the first case of COVID-19 outside of China, Thailand has maintained low infection rates and quickly flattened its curve. Community cooperation and containment measures worked. The government now wants to capitalize on that as it calculates reopening. Bangkok Suvarnabhumi Airport here is the country's biggest and busiest. Over 80% of the 65 million passengers last year were international. But now it's been reduced to just a trickle of domestic and repatriation flights. It's going to stay that way at least until the end of June when the international arrivals ban is lifted. It was put in place back in early April. With millions of jobs on the line, Thailand needs to see its airports busy again. But it'll be a slow and steady opening. If there is any increase in COVID-19 cases, any progress in building travelers' confidence could come crashing down.